example here, 2 over 3 times the square root of 12. This has basically the same structure the last one did. One slight difference in this one, notice the square root of 12 can be simplified in this manner. 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. A pair of 2's gets to come out, so 2 times the square root of 3 is the same as the square root of 12. And keep in mind it's 3 times the square root of 12 in the original problem. So altogether, the bottom can be rewritten as 6 times the square root of 3. So that'd be the first thing I'd want to do. And in general, when I see radicals, that's the first thing I always look for. Is there some way to make the radical simpler before I go on to do whatever I'm supposed to do with the problem? Anytime you can do that, you make numbers smaller, you make the problem easier, it's worth doing. So look for this scenario always. Is there some way to pull a perfect square out of that thing? Then we got the same problem we have the last one, right? We have a square root of 3 on the bottom. We don't want a square root of 3 on the bottom, so multiplying by the square root of 3 is going to fix that issue. You may notice that these reduce. You can do that now or later. It doesn't matter when you do it. I'm going to wait, but 2 over 6 would reduce to 1 over 3. Let's just hang on to that for a minute. So <clears throat> on top, I've got 2 times the square root of 3, which just makes 2 times the square root of 3. On the bottom, I've got 6 being multiplied by the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which is 3. That just gets me to 2 times the square root of 3 over 18. The final step in these problems, and again, that's right. There's nothing, that's the right answer. If you put that as your final answer, I'm not going to count it wrong. But always look to reduce fractions when possible. The reduction is going to happen right here, not the radical, but outside the radical. If the fraction you're looking at is a reducible fraction, you should reduce it. In this case, 2 over 18 reduces to 1 ninth. The 1 can be written, it doesn't have to be. Square root of 3 over 9 is what I'd get for a final answer. And once again, if we verify solution, which is very easy to do on this one, type in the original problem, 2 divided by parentheses, 3 square root 12, get out of the radical in parentheses. And if I do square root of 3, get out of the radical, divided by 9, it should be the same decimal number, which it is. That verifies that they're equivalent. They should be equivalent because I didn't change the value to the multiply by 1. has a different form. has the radical on top, whole number on the bottom. That's what we're looking for.